On this trip through the digestive system, we will study secretion, the production and release of juices and hormones by the GI tract and its accessory glands. Enteroendocrine cells secrete gastrin, and paracrine cells secrete histamine into the interstitial space. Click the hormone and paracrine to see where each is secreted. Gastrin is secreted in the pyloric region of the stomach. Gastrin enters the bloodstream and passes through the circulatory system before returning to the stomach to exert its effects. Histamine, like hydrochloric acid, is secreted in the fundus and body of the stomach. Histamine is a local chemical messenger that acts on nearby cells. Remember, Histamine is secreted into the lamina propria, not the stomach lumen. The surface of the stomach has deep wells called gastric pits. Each pit leads to gastric glands. Click the entrance to a gastric pit to see an image of a gastric pit and gland typical of the fundus and body regions of the stomach. The stomach secretes gastric juice and chemical messengers that control GI activities. Stomach secretions are important for protection, digestion, intestinal absorption of vitamin B12, and control of gastric activity. Click Protection to learn more. Surface epithelial cells and mucus cells secrete a thick mucus layer that covers the gastric mucosa. Mucus protects the stomach from self-digestion by neutralizing stomach acid and inhibiting pepsin, a protein-digesting enzyme. The mucus, along with tight junctions between epithelial cells, constitutes the gastric mucosal barrier. Click the gastric pit to see an animation about this barrier. The gastric mucosal barrier provides an environment in which strong acid and digestive enzymes can break down ingested food while sparing the stomach from destruction. Click the acid character to continue. Fat-soluble compounds that diffuse through mucus and destroy the underlying epithelial cells disrupt the mucosal barrier. The only two compounds that are absorbed from the stomach, alcohol and aspirin, can break that barrier. Note that no other foods are absorbed across the stomach. Click the martini to continue. When the mucosal barrier is damaged, gastric acid and pepsin enter the stomach wall. They destroy more cells, cause release of more acid, and damage underlying layers. This damage may produce peptic ulcers. Click the epithelial cells to return to the study of protective functions of the stomach. In addition to its protective function, hydrochloric acid prepares stomach contents for digestion by enzymes. Drag the acid character to the spinach. Hydrochloric acid breaks down plant cell walls and connective tissue to reduce the size of food particles. Acid denatures proteins to make them more accessible to chemical digestion. 
Pepsin, like all protein digesting enzymes, is produced in an inactive form called pepsinogen. If chief cells produce the active enzyme, they would self-digest. Drag the acid character to the pepsinogen. Hydrochloric acid activates pepsinogen to produce the protein digesting enzyme pepsin by cleaving a small peptide fragment from the molecule. Drag the pepsin character to the pepsinogen. Pepsin also activates pepsinogen. Drag the pepsin character to a piece of steak. Pepsin begins the chemical digestion of protein. It cleaves protein into peptide fragments and some single amino acids. Click intestinal absorption of vitamin B12 to continue. Vitamin B12 requires intrinsic factor to be absorbed in the intestine. Secretion of intrinsic factor is the sole essential function of the stomach. Intrinsic factor, IF, secreted by parietal cells along with acid, combines with vitamin B12 to form a complex that is absorbed in the terminal ileum. Click an intrinsic factor character to continue. Vitamin B12 is essential for maturation of red blood cells. The absence of intrinsic factor prevents absorption of B12 and leads to abnormal production of red blood cells, which causes pernicious anemia. Click Control to complete your study of stomach functions. Peptides stimulate release of the hormone gastrin. Click the gastric pit to see the actions of gastrin and hydrochloric acid. Gastrin is the most important factor for stimulating acid secretion. Gastrin stimulates parietal cells to secrete hydrochloric acid and stimulates paracrine cells to secrete histamine. Histamine also stimulates parietal cells to release hydrochloric acid, reinforcing the action of gastrin. Like all the GI hormones, gastrin has many functions. In general, gastrin promotes gastric motility and secretion and exerts a trophic effect on the stomach. Gastrin acts on parietal, paracrine, and chief cells of the stomach to increase gastric secretion. Gastrin is important for moving the contents of the previous meal out of the terminal ileum as a new meal enters the stomach and for inducing a mass movement. You may click any of the stomach functions at the top of this page to see them again or click to continue. Create a table that lists the functions of gastric secretions by dragging each phrase to its correct position. Click Begin to start. On this page, we will build a table that illustrates the regulation of gastric secretion. Think about what you have learned about neural reflexes and GI hormones 
and answer each question as it comes up. You must answer the question correctly to proceed. During the cephalic phase of control, stimuli like the thought, sight, smell, or taste of food elicit a response of the stomach. Will nerves or a hormone mediate the response? Will the neural response involve extrinsic nerves, a long reflex, or only the enteric nervous system, a short reflex? Signals from the brain to the stomach are carried in the vagus nerve. Long neural reflexes increase gastric secretion of hydrochloric acid and pepsinogen directly by stimulating two types of stomach cells. Which two? Long neural reflexes increase gastric secretion of hydrochloric acid and pepsinogen indirectly by stimulating release of gastrin. Which cells release gastrin? Gastrin stimulates release of histamine, which reinforces acid secretion. Which cells release histamine? Will gastric secretion of hydrochloric acid and pepsinogen increase or decrease as the stomach prepares to receive a meal? <laughs>